Hi, I'm John Wilder, historian for La Bush Riders. Um, as I've mentioned in one of my previous videos, the, this is the 100th anniversary of the founding of the Shriners Hospital System. So I thought I'd bring a set of artifacts relating to the early history of one of the hospitals. Um, that being the Springfield Hospital, which was, which was one of the earliest ones uh, right here in Springfield, Mass. Now, if you're active in the Shrine today or you know a Shriner, you may know that uh, many of the Shrines collect uh, the tabs off of aluminum cans. Those are collected, scrapped for the uh, value of the aluminum, and the money is given to the hospitals or the transportation fund for the patients. As I was doing research into the early um, hospitals, I noticed that there were a lot of advertisements and notes about collecting tinfoil. Most often these would be collected off packs of cigarettes, which used to be used to come wrapped in foil. And I couldn't figure out why. And then I found a note about you should take a trip out to the Springfield Hospital and see the the things, the trinkets that they make with these foils. And I thought, okay, maybe the patients are making items to uh, to sell or to give away sort of an arts and crafts type thing around the same time uh, our good friend and benefactor Keith McKinnon had given us this little bud vase which has a seal on it which has a picture of the Shriners hospitals for crippled children which is was known at the time in Springfield Mass and I thought oh that's a nice little piece that's uh you know, maybe a commemorative, maybe when the hospital was opened or it was something that was used in the dining hall there. I didn't think much of it until uh, one of our other benefactors, illustrious Randy Coe from Cosair Shrine in Kentucky, had sent us a large collection of shrine, early shrine paperwork. Among that was a scrapbook of news articles and other paperwork from the Springfield Hospital from its founding onward. And within that was this brochure. It says, The Evolution of Tinfoil, Shriners Hospitals for Crippled Children, Springfield, Mass. And looking inside, you see a large number of items that were available for sale. And among those, let's see, that might be on. right here is the bud vase, offered in two sizes. This is the smaller of the two. So, what would happen was all the tinfoil that was collected was gathered together and shipped to a company called Jennings Brothers or Jennings Bros. And they would mix it with some other materials and come out with what is basically a pewter-like material. And they would make all these items and they would just attach the shield heel here from the Springfield Hospital. And they would sell them for the benefit of the hospital. A couple years later, we were able, we received another piece. This is a um, tabletop makeup compact. Unfortunately, the lid is broken, or it'd have uh, uh, can, uh, spots for ladies' uh, makeup powder and different items. The lid with the dog on it, and again, it has the shield. Now, I'm researching Jennings Brothers. They made uh, very similar items for. I believe it was the Empire State Building, Washington, D.C., and I believe Niagara Falls, all with similar shields, so those were local souvenirs. But in this specific in instance, I think the trade-off was we gave them the raw material, and they made these, and uh, which were sold to Shriners and to the public as a souvenir, but the profits went to the hospital. So I've seen other ones come up, different items, different trinket boxes, so most of them are in the brochure. Some of them are not. Um, <clears throat> and a lot of the times they're a little pricey, so nothing. we haven't acquired or given anything else at the moment. But I always keep my eyes open for anything else with the Springfield uh, Hospital plaque on them. And for those of you uh, curious, the Silver Bud Vase Small was originally available for 75 cents which was a lot of money in the 1920s, so uh, I think it was still a good deal. The larger one you could get for $2. But uh, we were very fortunate both to have the items and then to get the, uh, the paperwork behind it, which uh, told the story. So I, I think it's, uh, it's interesting sometimes how these completely separate donations 
can come together to tell the larger story. So we're very thankful to, uh, to Keith and to Randy for those, uh, those donations. So if you like what you see, remember to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and follow us on Facebook. Thank you.